Since the cradle of man, we've experienced numerous zoological and botanical beauty, and some of these species that existed a decade ago are nowhere to be seen today. An array of extinct animals have made the exception and shocked the world when they managed to rewrite the names of the phases of the Earth again. Did you know mammoths will soon be restored through scientific advancements? Stay tuned to get amazed. Number 10. Mammoth Before we can even ask questions regarding why someone would want to bring back animals that have been extinct for close to 4,000 years, we have to first familiarize ourselves with the woolly mammoth. This species vanished from the face of the earth due to harsh climate conditions. The world was too wet for the mammoth to survive. Its humongous size didn't make things easier as it boasted great weights of about 10 to 15 tons. An interesting discovery is that scientists have been working on this day and night to reinstate this gem back to the modern world. And they're getting closer by the day. Before we know it, we might be crossing paths with this giant mammal on our streets soon enough. Personally, I'm not up for the idea of bringing mammoths back, but it sure would be a great experience to see this extinct species alive in action and up close. They might be herbivorous, but still pose a great danger to the modern world as we know it. Number 9. Chacoan Peccary Back in the early 1930s, a fossil discovery changed the course of history for the Chacoan peccary, which was thought to be extinct. This discovery took us deep into the Chaco region, where scientists discovered several live specimens of the Chacoan peccary. With such mind-blowing findings, it was bound to stir up mixed reactions, with the natives of Chaco embracing the long-lost species and the rest of the world a bit reluctant to accept the reality of the matter. The close resemblance of this species to their near relatives, the wild hog, is unquestionable, and first glance at them might get you confused for a minute. They, however, have adopted special abilities and features to combat the harsh temperatures and raging winds of the semi-arid and arid environment. This short-legged ancient species stands in the record as one of the last largest mammals to be discovered by man. They seem to be a free-spirited species, but unfortunately, due to their extremely scarce population, you'd have to scale through deserts for hours on end before getting to experience this phenomenal miracle. Number 8. Coelacanth For some reason, the Earth has been adamant to urge itself off some creatures through a number of mass extinctions, which have taken out a good number of prehistoric creatures that I personally am glad aren't walking this Earth today. However, some of them just can't stay extinct and have managed to pull a comeback centuries later. Like the Coelacanth, who was presumed missing in action for years, only to end up trapped in a curator's nest in South Africa in 1938. This plume fish has been quietly hiding in the water for all those years, without anyone noticing its existence. Since then, about 80 other fish of its kind have been spotted. Number 7. Hispaniolon Selenodon The most fascinating thing about the Hispaniolon Selenodon is how unique to its nature it is. Firstly, because it only lives on the island of Hispaniola. Secondly, is due to the fact that it's one among the few venomous animals to live. It was discovered to have lived in the 1800s and was later thought to have been extinct due to the reduced encounters with the mammal. Until 1907, when it was found in the interiors of Hispaniola. When it comes to its physical appearance, we can only say that it looks almost like a rat, but has a long snout for a nose instead. It's also considered to be omnivorous, which begs the question why the need for it to have poisonous saliva? Number 6. Gilbert's Potteroo Mice and rats are some of the sneakiest smaller mammals in the world. Their ability to hide away food is top-notch. Not only that some of them, like this rat kangaroo, have been able to build a home in a hiding spot for almost a century. It led most people to believe that it had become extinct in the early 1900s until someone accidentally stumbled upon them in Albany in 1994. Since then, efforts have been made to revive this previously extinct species, though the efforts have been futile, mostly because they have a very specific diet they follow, making it difficult to breed them in captivity. 
Only a hundred of them are in existence today, and they're hanging by a thread. Number 5. La Gomera Giant Lizard Juan Carlos Rando, a Spanish scientist, championed the rediscovery of the La Gomera Giant Lizard back in 1999. The only proof of life before this discovery was recorded from fossils unearthed before the 19th century. The giant lizard had been extinct for more than two centuries, only to be found in one secluded Canary Islands. This species has a weirdly distinctive color around its mouth that helps tell it apart from other subspecies of its kind. Overgrazing, hunting, and the threat from other animals are a few of the top reasons this species went extinct. After the realization of four of the La Gomera giant lizards, a policy has been put in place to safeguard and restore the numbers of this rare species. It seems the legislation put in place is working because the population has been increasing steadily since 2001. The giant lizard isn't harmful and can actually be kept as a pet. You should consider owning one for yourself and help the course of nature. Number 4. Bermuda Petrel Bermuda Petrel is not only a symbol of hope, but is also the national symbol of Bermuda. If you doubt this, have a look at their currency and you spot this outstanding bird neatly displayed. For a very long time, many sorts to believe that this species had been wiped off the face of the earth until recently when the Lazarus species was rediscovered. There's nothing much to this bird except its mid-sized body and lengthy wings. They initially went extinct after mammals invaded their nesting territory, something scientists are working day and night to reconstruct. Bermuda petrel enjoys hunting for fish and shrimps in cold waters, and you definitely spot them around such environments. Number 3. The Terror Skin Lizard The Terror Skin Lizard was discovered and described in the 1800s, presumably lived for a couple of centuries later until it was considered extinct. It wasn't until 1933 when a specimen of its kind was found by researchers. The creepy crawler had done a good job at hiding away from humans for years, so much so that many believed it no longer existed on the planet. While in fact, it was spending its days eating away at its usual sumptuous meals of anything meat or eggs. This diet is unlike its kind as are thought to be omnivorous. Not only that, but this terra-skinned lizard has long, curved, sharp teeth, suggesting it's a predator who wants to feed. Take care you don't get your fingers bit, because it will turn to use its teeth against you as a defense mechanism. Number 2. Caspian Horse Caspian horses hold the title for being the oldest horse breed to ever exist in the history of horses, as there's evidence that this breed of horses was used by Persian royalty in 1600 AD. It was a long way down from such destined grace as the horse later became a wild horse that wandered about remote villages where the locals would occasionally interbreed them to create the perfect worker horses. But thanks to Louis Farouz, a scientist who rediscovered these chestnut stallions, the Caspian horse is no longer disgraced as it is now considered one of the nation's treasures. Number 1. The Gastric Brooding Frog For as long as we've known them, frogs have always laid eggs after either internal fertilization or external fertilization. However, the gastric brooding frog proves that this hasn't always been the trend with its kind. About 30 years ago before its extinction, it proved to the world that there are smarter and better ways to be a parent. How? Well, if you're a frog, all you have to do is engage in some affairs that will result in egg bearing. After which, these eggs will be swallowed by the mother, whose body will adapt by stopping the production of hydraulic acid that would instead digest the eggs. The eggs will be left there until little tadpoles are born, and then they'll stay there for a long time till they can fend for themselves. The bloated mother frog will then vomit her young ones out into the world. Don't worry if you've missed out on seeing such a fascinating thing. A couple of scientists have been able to bring about the reincarnation of the gastric brooding frog through DNA reactivation. Excuse me? Until next time, adios.